coming to you today with some DIY farmhouse rope decor projects that I want to do. That was a lot to say that I want to do for you. I um, have a few that I want to do and I want to do them and a few of them to be like a set that would go together. Um, I have some friends that are local subscribers that are near and dear to my heart and they just moved into a new house and she's doing the modern farmhouse look and she doesn't know it but some of these projects that I'm going to do today I had her in mind. Um, they have a really really beautiful long table it looks like it could be 10 to 12 feet long um, really really beautiful a nice light type of um, brown wood finish to it and um, so I'm going to do some projects for that. My hope is to do her this really big round um, rope tray and then I want to do some accent pieces that will go in that tray. And then over between their dining room and their living room, they also have this really, really pretty wood tone chest. Um, kind of like a short buffet that they have sitting against the wall and I want to do a really nice lamp that would also flow with the rest of it to go with it as well and then I have a couple of vase projects that I want to do um, so really in all I think I'm going to do two or three vase projects I'm going to do two trays the long uh long one and then i'm going to do the real big circular one for my local subscriber and then i'm also going to do the lamp and um yeah so i'm excited about it i'm going to show you the materials that i have to work with and i will tell you that um some of my jute roping i got from joanne's fabric and it ranged anywhere from 3.99 to 5.99 um, per bundle. Um, some of the jute I picked up from Walmart, the rolls of jute that you'll see, I picked that up from Walmart and it was actually $3.68 or $0.28, cent, something like that for the roll and I got two of those. I also got some greenery um, for the vase pieces that I'm going to do and the greenery ranged in prices from $2 to I think $3.00 48 cent and then what else did I get I also from the thrift store I picked up the big plastic trays I got three of them I think three or four of them three of them <laughs> three or four of them for 99 cent I picked up a really nice lamp uh, for ten dollars I picked up the wooden tray it's really just a tray that you would like a TV tray. I picked that up and I think I paid 99 cents for a, for that or maybe a dollar for that. And what else did I pick up? Um, anyways, that's where I picked up my things from. The vases, um, I paid anywhere from a dollar to two dollars and fifty cent for those that I picked up from the thrift store. So, all of the pieces except for the exception of this one small vase that I got from Walmart for $4.98, um, I picked up thrifting. And so come on and I'll show you what I picked up and let's get started on this DIY. Please excuse the sound of the blower in the background. Like I said in the earlier videos, our kitchen is getting a total and complete new makeover. But anyway, what I like to do is wash all the pieces that I got from the thrift store. And then I also want to get all the little price tags off of everything. So give me a minute to get this um, cleaned up and then I'll come back. We'll go out to the garage and paint what needs to be painted and then we will come back in and get started with the rope portion of this DIY. All right, so just give me a minute. Okay, guys, I'm here 
guys, I got all my pieces that I need to get painted. I have the three vases, and then I have this cute silver tray that I paid 99 cents for at the thrift store, and it's gonna get a farmhouse jute rope makeover as well. And this little container right here is the one that I got from Walmart. I didn't get it from the thrift store, but I paid $4.98 for it, I think, something along, it was under $5. And that one is gonna get a real cute makeover as well. So I've got all my pieces out here that I need to paint. Um, the lamp is inside and it's already a creamy color. So I'm hoping that the paint that I got will also be creamy because I got two. I got um, this one here by Rust-Oleum and it's stark white. But then I also got this one here, which is the kilns, and it's kind of, it, well, the lid looks kind of creamy, and this would match the vase. So I'm gonna see the lamp. So I'm gonna see which one, and keeping my fingers crossed that I don't have to paint the lamp. But anyway, guys, let's get started painting. <laughs> vases we're going to begin the same as we did for the trays you're going to start with securing your first piece with glue and then you're going to go in a circular motion adding glue on this first row as you go around like so. You're going to continue this all the way around. For this 
first portion of your rope, you want to make sure you secure it with glue all the way around. first row, you can begin to just go around in a circular motion making sure you're pulling tight and making sure each piece of rope on the top is sitting nestled to the one on the bottom. And every now and then you can give it a little glue just to secure it. And then continue in a circular motion until you reach the point at which you'd like to stop. Right here, I'm going to fray the ends of a piece of rope that I've cut, and I'm just going to comb it out like so, just to give it a tassel effect. And I'm going to do this for both sides. You can use anything to make your tassel. I'm using a plastic fork, but you can use a comb or anything else that you can get your hands on just to fray the ends of your rope and then secure it. Just add a little hot glue to hold it in place. For this next vase, we're going to start with the braided rope and we're going to go just around the middle of the vase. You really could put this braided piece anywhere you'd like, but for this vase, I just want it to sit it around the middle. Now I'm going to take my jute rope
and I'm just going to carefully go along the top and the bottom of that braided piece until I've reached my desired look. Okay guys, I love this lamp. The color is gonna be perfect. It's mostly cream and it has a little bit of blue here at the bottom, but I plan on covering this with the jute rope and um, and then hopefully it'll turn out really nice. I love how it has the wooden piece right here, as well as the little ball for the lampshade that goes on the top is also um, a wooden top. So we're gonna get started on this lamp and see what we come up with. Okay guys, I started out by laying a piece of burlap on the bottom of the tray and then cutting it to size. After I cut it to size, I then hot glued it to the bottom of the tray. Of the tray. 
after doing that, I began gluing the jute rope all the way around the tray until the tray was completely covered with jute rope. After the tray was completely covered with jute rope, I then added my handles. Okay guys, I think I want to add some wording to that um, flat tray that I just did. So I'm going to use my Silhouette Cameo to um, write out the words and I'll come back when I've got them on the tray. Pretty For our final DIY, we are doing this small white woven rope basket. I started at the bottom, gluing the rope at the bottom and then extending it up to the top, tying some knots here and there just to give it that woven basket look. I then started at the bottom and wrapped the basket from the bottom all the way up to midway of the basket face. I then finished it off with a contrasting rope and I think it looks beautiful. Now let's look how affordable our final DIY projects are. Hope you enjoyed all the DIYs we did today and I hope it inspires you to do some DIYs of your own. <laughs>